Get together for the very funny Pat Hanson. Let him have that. What's going on, baby? Oh, man, you guys ready to have some fun? Let's do this. Now I'm going to put this over here. Remind me. Um, <laughs> um, I, uh, I hit rock bottom not too long ago, guys. Uh, if you're a stand-up comedian, it's pretty much common practice. You do it like three fucking times a day. But uh, <laughs> I hit rock bottom the other day. And if you've ever been to rock bottom, you know... That it's different for everyone. Everyone experiences rock bottom in their own way. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, I was on break at my shitty fucking retail job, and I had eaten a pudding cup with a with a plastic fork. I mean, do you kill yourself right away, or do you wallow in the sadness for a couple weeks? You know? And if you do kill yourself, if you do end up killing yourself, do you even write a fucking note? Or do you just do it next to the empty pudding cup and have them put the pieces together when they get there, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, man, I love stand-up comedy, man. It's definitely my favorite thing to do. Um, and recently, you know, I, it was the highlight of my career. But it, it, stand-up comedy, first off, is a lot of ups and downs. You know what I'm saying? A lot of ups and downs. You're constantly chasing this high. So when people ask me, yo, what's being a comic like? I tell them, well, it's kind of like being a heroin addict, you know? <laughs> Except I'm way more likely to be homeless than any heroin addict is. <laughs> but I swear, man, I was, I, was, uh, I was on Sirius Satellite Radio not too long ago, uh, long ago with Sway in the Morning. You guys know Sway? Yeah? <laughs> so I didn't mean to look at you specifically, brother. I, I know you know who Sway is. <laughs> but that was the highlight of my career, you know what I mean? But the week after that, I smoked crack, so, you know, like, it's a lot of give and take in this comedy game, man, but, <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm going to let you guys into the world of stand-up comedy for a minute, if you're ready. Oh, please do, guy I've never fucking heard of before. Hey, fuck you. Uh -oh. <laughs> Being a, being a stand-up comic, man, it's not like you're a writer or a musician, you know what I'm saying? I don't sit down at a desk by candlelight. And write jokes with a feather pen, like, oh, anal, you know, like, this is not how it goes. Usually, you're hanging out with your buddies, you got a couple beers in you, and like the middle of the game, you say something ridiculous, like, hey, what if orangutans had giant dicks for arms? And if you get a couple laughs, man, you write it down in your phone, and you build off of it for the next day. But sometimes, sometimes you have a few too many of your dad's keystones by yourself. <laughs> Of course, like, it was the cheapest shit they had, I swear to God. Uh, um, you have too many of your dad's keystones by yourself, and you end up with some shit that makes absolutely no sense. Like, uh, for example, I had written, Hey, did I just jerk off in front of all my friends? Oh, no, wait, I'm alone. I still have no idea what this means, man, but I think it stems back to the fact that I do most things alone, you know? Like eating and crying and fucking um, <laughs> which also happens to be the name of the book I'm working on he cried fuck I don't know if you want to pick it up in the gift shop it's super sad <laughs> what's that old lady with the guitar maybe she can help me out I don't... <laughs> but it's true man um, if I'm fucking I'm usually fucking myself and <laughs> It's not even because I want to go do that, you know what I'm saying? It's usually, it's, it's because like a couple times throughout the day, a few wise strangers told me that that'd be a good idea. They were like, hey, go fuck yourself. <laughs> I'm like, all right, man, give it a shot, you know, because I'm not really at a point in my life right now where I could turn down advice from anyone. <laughs> but I swear, man, I've gone and stuck like a hundred dicks after someone's been like, go suck a dick. <laughs> My life has not changed at all, man. <laughs> Maybe I'm just doing that shit wrong, too. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> oh, man, it's great to be out in the city. You guys are a fucking awesome crowd, so give yourselves a round of applause, please. It's great to be out here in the city. Uh, I'm from a little town called Mastic. Anyone ever hear of Mastic? Any? Yeah? <laughs> great things, I'm sure. Um, 
If you're not familiar with Mastic, I do a lot of shows out there, and at my shows, there are usually more people than teeth. You know what I'm saying? Like, you all look like you floss, everyone's got a shirt on, no one's fighting over meth. This is like the classiest atmosphere, you know? You know, to put it in perspective, actually, I bought this shirt, I, I looked at it afterwards, I'm like, yo, this is fucked up. I looked at it, right? Here's Nassau, okay? All right, you guys see? Here's, here's the Hamptons, okay? And on this, like, shitty little piece of bone, that's Mastic. That's Mastic go Long Island. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, it's, it's cool, though. It's cool being out here. You guys, you guys are a good crowd. But uh, I've had some bad crowds in my day, you know? As, and I can tell you, as a stand-up comic, the worst thing ever is being heckled. Like, that's hands down the worst thing. And uh, I had been heckled once by this older man at a show. <laughs> He was like yelling some obscene shit, all right? And, and instead of saying something funny, like, this is why I don't bring you to shows, dad. Um, <laughs> I, I jumped straight to, hey, shut the fuck up! And I just lost my shit on this guy. Really killed the mood in the whole place. But I swear, man, I gotta explain it. Like, that'd be like, if I showed up at your accounting job, right? All right? And while you were away at lunch, you know, I just did my fucking thing in your books, right? I'm like, ah, eight goes there, 10, 15. When you got back, man, you would be like, hey, dude, what the fuck? You fucked up my whole thing. And then I'd be like, oh, well, my friends say I'm really good at math. No, man. I'm not good at math. You're not funny. Let's just live our lives, man. All right. That's my time, guys. Thank you so much. I promise you, if he wasn't as funny, he wouldn't have done that.